Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Endeavor Winter Nights 2. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we had ourselves a little bit of a tussle in the swamps. And uh, now we're about ready to go off and journey on our own. You said your farewells? Anything you can give me? Take anything you need from our home. Speak with the wizard Tomas as well. He may have a few odds and ends that he'd be willing to part with. Uh... You must leave. Yeah, I, I'm willing to leave tonight. I just want to double check if there was anything within our home before we officially leave. I've always still been a little bit eh about whether or not I want to keep series like this into one hour videos because you know, that, that shit can get a little bit exhausting. But if I do it only 30 minutes of 30 minutes <laughs> videos, to me, it'll feel less like progress had been made because what we just got through the ruins and yes I know that there's something to say about oh you could make a make more of that YouTube dish which I do agree with I could make more of that YouTube dish oh I think I, I think everything has been looted here already Want to make 100% sure though before. And. I. Forward into the room, thank you. Ooh. Arborine's Amulet of Aid and Exotic Weaponry. Anything else in here? Just an amulet? I mean, okay, I say just an amulet, but. The Aid spell. One charge use. Great. This item is a three inch diameter gold disc with the holy symbol of Arvarine uh, inlaid in the platinum. It grants the wearer the ability to cast aid six times. It cannot be used by an evil creature. So, it uses the aid spell six times. Hey, game, what's the aid spell do? Would you like to know, mofo? I would like to know. Oh, I apparently also have an additional spell slot for uh, Cantrip and Lover One. What was Night Shield again? Uh, resistance one minute per level. I think that would not be a bad idea. Actually, Divine Favor would be better. Plus one bonus to attack and one magical damage bonus for every three caster levels. Minimum one, maximum three. Then we'll take divine favor. Basically, most any time that I make a cleric, and I do mean pretty much any time I make a cleric, is going to be a character all about buffing himself before any you know, damages or any of that applies in his mind. Because any time I make a cleric, is essentially just going to be, you know, a more magically based warrior. Hell, I'm freaking multi-classing as a war priest, hopefully in the future. All right. But that said and done, I think we can officially ditch West Harbor. Which can feel a little bit tedious when you're forced to basically walk everywhere. That guy's house still... Oh no, that's right. I bust down his door. Forgot about that. Wait, what was this? Oh, that's just marker for the wheat field. This was Tarmus's house. That's the bridge. I don't know why I'm trying to go this way. I need to go to the north. I already spoke with Orlean, I think. I'm glad I was able to find a shield, though. Have you said your farewells? Ready to go. To get to Neverwinter, take the road that borders the Starling Farm out of town. 
It is the only road through the Mayor of Deadman, so following it will be easy. The road itself has not been patrolled for some time, and few travel it. Move quickly, and you may be able to avoid the many beasts of the Mayor. Doesn't sound too safe. I suspect you will see your share of battle before <coughs> you reach Neverwinter. Stray from the road, and the danger is even greater. I've made it known that you travel directly for the city, in the hopes that the enemy will pursue you along the high road. Instead, you will head to the small port town of Highcliff once you are clear of the swamp. From there, you will seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. Are you sure there will be ships available? There is a ship named the Double Eagle that will await you in Highcliff. Her captain, Flynn by name, is a trusted friend of mine and will ferry you safely to the city. Your trip to Neverwinter will be quicker by water, and my attempt at misdirection may allow you to reach Highcliff before the enemy becomes aware of your true route. I have nothing more to say. It's time for you to go, my son. Each moment you remain here brings greater risk to the village. Well, where is it? Off we go. A very ceremonious of everyone. Hey. Iggy's leaving the village. He may never return. Or if he does, he may not return alive. That's a river. Or something. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Oh, the border of the town. Right. All right. Off to Highcliff we go. Well, once we reach the Weepy Willow Inn. I suppose he is right there, but it would be swifter to travel by water than it is by road. Load, 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 load. So many things to load. 23 things to load. No loading area. And now... We are alone. Well. Right up until we go up here where there's quite clearly... Someone getting their ass kicked. Now that we're outside, maybe you'd like to tell me what you said again. Slowly this time, so you could think about what you're saying. You're a small one to be taking this road all by yourself, dwarf. Maybe you've come looking for trouble. Unless you have a little coin to convince us otherwise. What are you all arguing about? Nothing that concerns you. This is between us and the dwarf and whatever coin he happens to have with him. Ah, you're welcome to try to take it if, you, if you're all game. You all can't be frightened of one little dwarf, can you? If you're afraid of being humiliated in front of the stranger here, well, now that's another matter. We're not frightened of either of you, and it seems to me you need to learn a lesson. Hmm. Calm down, this isn't worth someone's life. This matter is between us and the dwarf here. It's none of your concern. Come on, someone tried to hit me already. Even the newcomer here sees that you're all too afraid to do anything. All right, I've heard enough of this. Come on, boys, let's deal with the dwarf and his new friend. Well, that was a good miss. Nothing walks away! Are you kidding me? Two misses? That was two not ones. And a three. Oh my god. One dead. About time. As you can see, the dwarf is a punch kicker. Pretty decent punch kicker at that. Okay. Well, now that was a good fight. A shame they had to resort to weapons, uh, but if they have to keep the odds even, can't blame them too much. Name's Kelgar, by the way, of the clan Iron Fist. I've been making my way along the coast for some time now, stopped in the willow here for a brief fight. Is 
Seem rather calm, considering those men wanted to kill you. Yeah, it's a shame. I was just looking to trade a few punches and share a drink when it was all done. Either way, they get my coin, the way I saw it. So, you do this for fun? For fun? No. This is serious work. Serious training. Well, I mean, it is fun, too, but I'm toughening myself up, practicing my skills. So, tell me, what brings you out along the mare? Roads aren't exactly safe, you know, and they're getting worse all the time. <laughs> I'm on my way to Neverwinter. Seems it's your lucky day, then. I happen to be traveling to Neverwinter as well. Really? Why are you going there? Now that's a tale. Oh, glad you asked. Uh, but I uh, can't discuss it without a tankard or two, I think. I say we step inside the Weeping Willow here and share our stories over a few of the innkeeper's best. Sounds like a plan. So then I punched him in the face for asking. And while he was trying to pick his teeth off the floor, his friend decided to add a few choice words about my heritage. So I punched him too. So to make a long story short, I take pride in what I do, fighting. It's something you can't get enough of, and it's something where there's always room for improvement. If you apply yourself, stay focused, and keep swinging. And that's why I'm headed to Neverwinter. I heard there's a house of monks there. A monastery, right? I heard they'll train anyone just for the asking. Couldn't ask for a better opportunity. You want to become a monk? Aye, that's the shot of it. A dwarven monk. No stranger than half of what takes place in Faron. I can tell you that. You know, yeah, <laughs> you do have a point. Well, as it happens, I didn't always want to become a monk. What happened was that it... The Kalaja, find it. Well, look at this. Our next round of practice just arrived. Oh boy. Well, they found me rather fast, didn't they? Burgers, bladelings. Also, we can enter a more cinematic -y, uh strategy mode. I don't tend to prefer to use it simply because a little weird to control. Very restrictive. Anyways, to the bladeling. Whoa. Is here a stronger blade? Ooh. Not much stronger. He got knocked down. That'd be great. Uh, let's try. No, not parry. Quick parrying. That depends on casting. Oh, I need to pull it from my stuff, don't I? Hold up. Beats. Oh. Kalakcha. You don't know what a Kalakcha is, but the raiders that came to West Arbor are looking for it. They seem to believe you have it. Hey, guess what? They'd be right. Oh, I think that one's dead. Based on the fact that he's kind of sideways right now. Is that one dead too? Oh. Goddamn Kelgar. Oh. Stop trying to kill the commoners. They are serving us our ale. Ah, balls. There we go. Yay. And what else? Remains. Ooh. That probably pays for the ale. Oh, more of them upstairs. Please, someone help me. There are more of these foul beasts upstairs. They have my husband trapped. How many more of them are up there? I don't know, a lot though. They seem to be looking for something. Please help, my husband's in danger. I'll take care of them. Stay here where it's safe. Seem to have a knock for finding trouble, Lingwolf. Stay with me and I'll bring you to all the brawls you can handle. Let's go. And that's quite a lot. You'd best hurry. Don't want those creatures to leave before we get there. Thank you so much, sir. Please hurry. I'm afraid of what the creatures might do to him. Up the stairs we go. Probably should actually quickly rest so that Galgar can get a little bit of healing back. 
There we go. I don't want him to die. <laughs> oh. Hi, Durgar. Oh. That's an issue. Galgar. Where, where have you been, buddy? Woo! That's a lot of them. Hold up. Wait. I just improved it. Was improved disarm on there before and I'm just an idiot? Don't answer that. I know the answer. The answer is yes. Alright. Merge with stone is the one I think of, right? Damage reduction 5. On myself. Damage reduction. Just taking damage sucks. But let's make it so as I do. I do. I own up there, Kalgar. That's a rather unevil even fight you got going on there, buddy. Uh. I would like to spontaneously cast. Yes. Ah, shit. Being cast offensively. Ooh, that crit, though. Oh, that's... Are you kidding me? Can't be dead yet, buddy. Come on. Alright. Can't rest while there's enemies nearby. Rand. Um... Heal. I know it's not going to help in the long guest of runs, but heals. Are they in here? Yep. Oh, I'm glad that they seem to suck at hitting him. I know you could use a healing potion. That's why I gave you one. Okay. Can I disarm you? Never mind. Please don't hurt me. Calm down. No one's going to hurt you. Won't hurt me? I should thank you then. Those things were ready to tear me apart when you showed up. Are you Gara's husband? Yes, I cowered under the bed while she ran for it. Is she safe? I'm waiting for you downstairs. Oh, thank the gods. Is it safe to leave if there are any more of those creatures? Uh, they've been dealt with. I have some questions. Well, please hurry. Must get a... Someone else fighting? Those creatures, do you know anything about them? I don't know. Never seen them like... Anything like them before. They attacked so suddenly. Barely had time to react. Yeah, okay. I don't think he's got anything additional to say on the matter of... Extra planar creatures that he's never seen before in his life. Ooh. Thieves tools plus three. I think this is a case of did we just become best friends? As much as I usually hate to refer to Will Ferrell movies. Unless it's Megamind. I think he's having there's uh problems going on in here. Hello? Merc. Rigar. I love how I enter the room and they're immediately like, hey, something else to kill. Ooh. Y'all doing bad at your job? As Mercs. 
Oh, it's Galen. Hey, Galen. How you doing, buddy? Let me loot your desk. Optimus's fire. Thank you for your assistance. I was beginning to think there was no end to those creatures. Aren't you the merchant that was in West Harbor recently? I am. I try to make the trip twice a year. Not a lot of competition yet, and quite a healthy amount of gold to be made, too. Wait, I've seen you before. Dagon's kid from West Harbor, am I right? Yes, that's right. Good folk, you harbormen. Strong, resilient, and they pay well for my goods. I make a tidy sum wherever I, whenever I stop by. Isn't the trip to West Harbor dangerous? Why do you think I'm traveling with these guards? Even with the additional cost, though, my visits to West Harbor are always profitable. And I admit I have a certain fondness for your village. Living in a swamp requires a certain stubbornness, after all. I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Tell you what I can. I hope you understand if I don't wish to tarry here, however. What would you like to know? Do you know what these creatures were looking for? Nothing I can... That would be of any value to me, I assure you. Something called a Kalakcha? To be honest, the reason for their curiosity was not exactly a concern of mine. Most everything else they said was gibberish to me, anyhow. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? Can you tell me anything about the road to Highcliff? Oh, the usual warnings. Wizard folk seem to have spread further north. The usual bandit troubles. You can rest briefly at Fort Locked, of course. The fort was a bit... Uh, was in a bit of disarray when I last made a stop on the way to West Harbor. Something about a commander gone missing, lost patrols, very unpleasant. And refugees have been trickling in. I assume it's due to the lizard folk migration. Is there anything else? Nope. The men and I should be leaving anyhow. It would seem that I'd be safer resting on the road tonight. Thank you again for your assistance. I do hope that the next time we meet will be under better circumstances. Wow, I love how he was walking away during that entire conversation. Note to self. See if the lock spell is something that I can cast as a cleric. Probably not. Or honestly, it's probably just better to get my ass some... Bashy. Do, 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 do. Bash it up. Do, 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 do. Bash the dwar dwarves. Dwarves? Ah. Well. It pains me more and more to do that. Actually, wait. You know what we've not done? That I probably should have done? Is look at our new buddy. This is Kelgar Iron Fist. He's got more HP than me. <laughs> That's not saying much. Actually, his stats are Fall in. Follow me. Almost Fall in. I'd almost say yes. much better than ours, but regardless. So he's a dwarf, but he's a dwarf fighter. Not a dwarf monk. That's an important difference to be making here, seen as uh monks get a improved unarmed strike, which makes it so as his unarmed strikes would do more damage. Uh, not so when it comes to Kelgar. Kelgar is just doing the one die three plus four. In my view, he's doing a very impressive job of it. Uh, so, let's see. He's taking cleave, which makes it so as if he kills a character or kills an opponent, he can get a free attack against any opponent with, who is within melee weapon range. Great cleave, which allows him to do that to everyone within range not just one individual knockdown we've seen that in action it's pretty damn good power attack which makes it so as he can take that negative three to get a plus three in damage and toughness which gives him all the hp and because he is in fact a dwarf fighter he has all of the usual stuff of you know armor proficiencies and because he is a dwarf, he has some good training against giants, goblins, and orcs. Hardiness towards spells, so plus two in saving throws versus all spells. Stone cutting, which allows him to search better while in interior areas. I'm kind of hoping that applies to all buildings. Uh, but yeah, he's a pretty good all-around character. What's, what's he carrying? Ah, you've just 
elected to go fisticuffs with bladelings. Please just, please just put on your axe. Because dwarven war axes, this is an exotic weapon. Uh, unless you're a dwarf. And then it, I think it's a martial weapon. And it does, I, I love axes. I love axes in 3.5. Because they only crit on a 20. But when they do, they hit for three times damage. That is three die 10 plus your strength modifier thrice. Hmm, feels good. Anyways, um, I think besides this footlocker in here. Hmm. Ish. You missed a chest. Keep going, buddy. I will be sad if the first time he actually goes to use this damn thing and he ends up freaking... Of course. I'm gonna break every damn thing all along the road. I could probably come back with another character and be all like, Aha! I'm going to steal this thing now. With this character. The less backtracking yes. I do, the better I'd like it. Just saying. Anyways, hi Greta. You've done it, please. Take this gold with our thanks. We'll be forever grateful. Hey. Thank you, I'm sure. I'm glad I was able to help. Thank you again for seeing my husband to safety. We shall remember you in our prayers. We'd best be moving on. I don't mind the fight, but I don't like bringing others into our battles. Well, first I want to see if there's anyone selling shit. Looks like we were lucky to have you and your dwarf friend here. You're always welcome here at the Weeping Willow. Those who survived owe you their lives. One moment, folks. Sorry about that. Alright, tell me what you have for sale. I am saddened by the fact that I keep on having to break shit just to get shit. <sighs> we'll get those ranks in open device eventually. Anyways, let's see. Go ahead and sort. Now the harvest cup has been used, but every time we rest it will recharge essentially. So, keep that in mind. Plenty of thieves kills. I'm gonna sell the scimitar. Oh, the light crossbow is back down to being zero gold. Only oh, because I got it for free forever ago. That sucks. I'm probably honestly never going to use Arborine's Amulet of Aid. Just to be honest here. What is this? What is Harbinger Kin? This weapon bears the mark of the Dwarf Marok, Master Blacksmith of Neverwinter's Shining Knight Arms and Armor. He forged it early 1373 DR to aid the heroes who sought to free his quarantine city from the virulent grasp of the so-called Wailing Death. This is a great sword. 2 die 6, 1920, slashing. It's a plus 1 with an additional 2 fire damage. Fascinating. Actually, do you have... You don't. Oh! You got a Morning Star. White's Morning Star. These weapons were first used by White's Legion, a fighting company so disciplined that when they marched, their synchronized front line appeared to be in a single entity. When these tight formations met an enemy line, they would seem to fall back, deliberately exposing themselves to attack and naturally drawing the enemy inward. The illusion of enemy progress was shattered when the score of Morning Stars struck at once, beating them down as a legion closed down on them. So, uh... Yeah, I want this. <laughs> plus one uh, enhancement bonus, plus one electrical damage, and plus three parry. The parry, yeah, maybe not. The parry is not that big of a deal to me. Oh, great axe, though. That could be fun. Let's see. Anything else? Wait. Pale limitations of the true bags of holding, these lesser creations bear only a tenuous connection to the distant planes. Items held within still exist and therefore retain some portion of their mass on the prime material. 
The degree of which this is true varies according to the bag's craftsmanship. Uh, these magic containers are essential for inventory management and can hold many items, both large and small. The weight of the items will still be a factor, however, especially when added to that of the container itself. So, this is a magical pouch, which is just essentially a smaller bag of holding. So, this thing is only going to reduce the weight of items by 20%. Not necessarily worth the 702 gold that we kind of have. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to buy it. I am going to sell that short bow, though. Yeah, I'm going to sell that Amulet of Aid. I think that Amulet of Aid does something like... The Aid spell itself gives temporary hit points. I could be remembering the wrong system, though. Uh, let's see. I kind of hate that plus one bolts are so yeah. light in cost. Yes. I could sell the Amethysts, because I don't know fully when they are. I, I talk about selling all this shit, but I'm going to be honest, save... Ooh, just go for a Heavy Shield plus two, or plus one. White Shield plus one, Padded Armor plus ones. Tower Shield plus one. Yeah, Attack Penalty, minus two. Meh. Half Plate. Now, this would be bitchin'. Plus one, it's metal armor. Ah, I'll save my money for now. As much as I'd be itching to get some more better armor. I'm always itching to get some more and better armor. Let's go it outside. I'm gonna guess... That uh, through whatever quest that Kelgar. Well, now I've had a good time so far, and the way you attract trouble, I haven't had this much fun since that tavern back at Bogan's Pass where I was using that trestle table as a battering ram. Well, look, we're heading in the same direction, and you seem to have more enemies than friends. What say we travel together? Might be able to teach each other a few things. I agree. It'd be safer if we stay together. Good. I'd be glad for the company, and the conversation. And don't you worry about me keeping up. Kelgar Iron Fist carries his own weight. I won't be slowing you down. This is actually kind of true. Dwarves in 3.5 Hello have a little bit of that good old-fashioned slowdown in that they have, you know, reduced speed compared to other, cre other creatures. But they have an ability to make it so as they can wear pretty much any sort of armor and never be affected by it. Uh, not slow down any further, rather. <sighs> Part of me doesn't want to leave until I break everything, find everything, but it's like 2,000 experience points until the next level, so. We don't want to kill the chickens. The chickens are probably not going to provide me any experience points. Quick save. And away we go. And now we can go to the swamp cave. Wait, is that the way we want to go? West Harbor, Port Lock. What's the swamp cave? I mean, I want to go there because by the sound of it, Fort Lock is where we need it to go. Oh my. I hear fighting. Galen, buddy, what you doing here? Could you kindly go back to the inn where you won't die? And also stop attacking with your bare hands. Shit's gonna get you killed, buddy. This has been by far the most difficult trip I've ever had through the beer. The good thing I paid my guards well. You're lucky I showed up. We had it under control, Welp. Don't get full of yourself. Your gut's gonna be full of my fist, you keep talking like that. That's so. Go on, dwarf. Try it. Enough, both of you. 
He could, he could have taken him, you know. His kind never learns his lesson unless it's coming from a closed fist. No more fighting. We're all at risk if we stay here any longer. Thank you for your help. Safe travels to you, friend. I hope we meet again in safer environs. Yeah, well, Kelgar, you can take that minus one and stop it. <laughs> Pointlessly fighting in the middle of a goddamn place that is filled with lizard folk. Speaking of, there's more lizard folk we could be fighting. I wonder what's with this thing. Oh. Sorry, what was that? Oh, that was my initiative. Okay. He got knocked down. He gets up again. Yeah. It's good to see him actually being able to wield a freaking weapon. Okay. Oh, no, another non lock chests. Why are there so many lock chests? Hello. What I'm partially hoping for, by partially hoping for, I mean really hoping for, is that I can level up while I'm traveling through this, and as I come back through, I can open up that chest. Or hell, I can even have a little stop at the Weeping Willow and open that other thing we left behind. Ten gold pieces? Nice, nice. Ooh, Alexandrite. 434 gold pieces. This was a very worthy detour. A very, 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 very worthy detour. Threatening, possibly, but worthy. I don't got a feeling that I'm going to find Galen and his crew dead up here somewhere. Man, I just want a neat morning star. Uh, you know what? No, uh, it's fine, buddy. Me and my, what, 18 armor class? Yeah, I've got this. They will die by my hand. They will die by my hand. <laughs> Advanced abju abjur abjuratives. Oh, another recipe book. Hell yeah. A scroll of burning hands. We can't cast that, sadly. A chest I still can't open. I don't want to be smashing every single goddamn book. Or book. I don't want to be smashing every single goddamn... Um, this one's mine. Aha. I don't want to be trashing every single chest. That's the word I was looking for. Because that'll be a lot of loot that I'll lose out on. Oh. I thought he killed this one. I He didn't... Didn't look like a kill. Oh. Stop taking damage. You want to have to heal your ass after every combat. Or during every combat. Might as well have a quick divergence up here. Ah. Hey, it's those aforementioned giant spiders. So the terrible thing about giant spiders is that they have a poison. A venom. A nastiness, if you will, that makes it so as fighting them is terrifying. Because, if you fail a fortitude save against them, you basically immediately suffer some penalties to your strength or some other ability score. And we don't want that. If any of your ability scores hit zero, you die. Or effectively die. Hello, giant spider. Hello, shelob. See? One second. Yeah, 4-2 save versus poison, success, because I have a plus 11. It's a DC at 13. I have a plus 11. Uh, Kelgar should have something like... a lot. 
And that's in addition to the damage that the spider itself will do. Come on. One of y'all hit. Injured. Hold up. I gotta have something for this. Bless. Oh. Alright. Now hit the bitch. Yeah, there we go. Get up in its face there, Kelgar. Yeah. Good casting of a spell. Painful, but good casting. Do we get anything out of this besides more experience points? Don't seem like it. You know what? That's fine. Quick rest. Gets rid of the blasts, but them hit points be important. So what the hell is in the cave then? Wait, did my... I feel like my goddamn key bar keeps... Uh, key bar, quick bar keeps on changing as to what it does. It's driving me a little bit insane. Kind of one of the reasons why I hated playing Baldur's Gate 3, honestly. And no! Oh, that is a trap. Oh god. Kelgar? Kelgar? How about helping me out here, buddy? Oh my lord. Cleave is OP. I keep on forgetting how just. So damn good Cleave can be. A mace. Weapon rack with a greatsword. Shit, do I have to start moving around all carefully like? Again, search mode will make it so as we can detect traps, but it also reduces our walking speed. As we are, in fact, looking for traps. Can't disable them because, again, we are not, uh, no. Good Lord Kelgar. Maybe he's going to become the hero of this goddamn adventure because, Jesus. Just great cleaves everything to death and I love it. I'd say that, you know, I matter somewhat to this adventure, seeing as I provide healing. But I, I always need to remind myself that we got items to heal for... God. We better level in this goddamn cave, is all I'm gonna say. Oh, um... um. I'd rather not be shot. I would rather not be shot. I would rather not be shot by another random arrow. Mind you, we're not sneaking either. We're just looking for shit. Also, this is what dark vision looks like. Hey, one dead. Hey, two dead. Arrows. Nothing. Now all I can really hope for is... This looks like a trap. No trap? Hmm. Always a little suspicious, suspicious in the traps. Especially in front of a chest. 
God. Hello. Woo. Shaman, warrior, chieftain, save. Maybe a little bit uh, too late on the save, but hey. Oh, that chieftain big. I want to do in this guy for... Wait, what'd you just do to him? Dazed. That's fine. Dazed is only a negative two. All right. Um, chug a potion. Ow. Oh. Are you casting a spell with that? I heal 10 damage reduction, or damage resistance rather. Those are folk chieftain just attacked me? He is wielding a torch, I suppose. Shit. Do I have any... Uh, I, do I have any better anything? Shield of faith. On myself. I forgot to you. Ow. Son of a crap it. How much HP do I have left? Literally two. Chug them potions. Chug them, Mickey. Ow. I sh Actually, wait. We can take this opportunity to hit him with a improved disarm. Except he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, Greater Gloves of Minstrel, Magic Rod of Frost, and a Scroll of Silence. What is the Phoenix Bone? And why do I already want it? In my hands. Phoenix Bone. These are the hallmark weapons of the fallen Lord Craghand of Unthar, named for the fate he suffered. Okay. Lacking magical talent himself, Craghand employed a cadre of necromancers in an effort to extend his meager legacy. These wizards succeeded only in damning his court to an age of undeath. Now his mindless form stalks Faerun, his ageless skeletal buddy, rising time and again even if destroyed. It is a plus one Morningstar that does die six fire damage. This is what we came here for. All those other things. All those other treasures. They might as well be pennies. Pennies, I tell you, compared to this thing. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna loot everything I can. That's trapped. How badly trapped? <laughs> he says, knowing full well that this might kill his character. It's acceptable. Acceptable. Less acceptable. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back here. I I hate losing out on treasure. I don't care if it's only a couple of gold. That said, I'm I just, That's a dies eight plus D six. That's a good that's a good good good. We got a lot we got a lot this time around. We got ourselves we got ourselves a new companion in Kelgar. We got ourselves a new weapon. Um, hopefully, I can return here. Can't rest. There's enemies nearby. What enemies? Oh, more lizard folk. Ho ho! <laughs> Take that. E. Yes. No. Still like six hundred some odd freaking experience points. Ah. Wishful thinking is a happening. All oh, right. Went to the rest because of that, um, smack with the traps. I don't know. Sometimes I think it might be a little bit eh when it comes to spellcasters and Neverwinter Nights and Neverwinter Nights 2. 
if only simply because you go to use them and you can just basically rest at any one time to gain back all your spells and spell like abilities and shit then it's like well I don't gotta worry about no nothing do I Well, maybe we'll be lucky. We'll level up here. I can get like a point in open lock. Oh, Galen. But dude, what is this treachery, Callus? You have been well paid to protect me. You shouldn't have been so open about the profits you made in, well in West Harbor. Galen, my brother and I think we deserve a little more ex little something extra for our work. Is everything all right? Uh, nasty bit of business here. My bodyguards have taken leave of their senses and decided to rob me. Are you sure you want to do this, Kalis? You do remember how capable our friend here is, don't you not? I think I'll take my chances, Galen. I've been on more campaigns than these two whelps can count. Ah. <sighs> Good guy syndrome kicks in. I won't let you rob him. That goes double for me. Drop your weapons, you motherless goats. Attack, brother. Leave no witnesses. That money is ours. Okay, so he's going to have a high-ass AC. Brother, probably not so much. I only... S well, never mind. <laughs> He's going to have a high-ass AC because of his tower shield. Immediately dead. Music, you, you can come down a little bit. It, it was just a couple of guards acting like bandits. Thank you. Once again, you've saved my hide. I can't believe my own guards would turn on me like that. Well, couldn't stand by and just let it happen. I, for one, am most grateful that there are those who still are guided by honor and justice. Rest assured that the guards of Neverwinter will hear of the role you played in protecting me today. I'm not without friends in the city. In the meantime, however, accept this money as a token of my gratitude. I do like money. Thank you. I, I accept. A lean purse is a small price to pay for my continued good health. I will be heading for the garrison at Fort Locke right away. From there, I shall find an escort to rest for, for the rest of the way to Neverwinter. Thank you again, and wish you safe travels. Game's teasing me at this point now. Look at that. 50 experience points. 500 away. I'm not going to shut up about it until I level up. It's a tease, man. <laughs> like a DM dangling the carrot that is a level up in front of me. I mean, I can't complain. I'm already level 4. I know that the campaign isn't going to be necessarily. Oh, this hello. Mine. <laughs> Sorry. I absolutely love this weapon. Just. Mmm. Chef's kiss. This goddamn. Did I get any experience? Okay, 26. I about to say, if I didn't get any experience points for that, I would be very cross. Because I have taken damage. Yeah. Worth a little bit. Just a little. Actually, I do kind of remember that there might be a rogue around here that I can pick up. I think speak of the devil. Quite literally in this case. What demon? No screams for us? <laughs> Maybe we should brand you. Maybe that'll loosen your tongue. Leave me alone! I've done nothing to you. Well, now Commander Valus will be happy to hear that he will. It means his work here is all done. He can just give up the fort and go home. Still. There's just the small matter of those bounties on bandits he posted. And a bandit with demon blood. Well, there's no telling how much that's worth. Of course, you could tell us where your camp is. 
Valis will pay more for that, he will. And we won't even have to butcher the lot of you. I told you I'm not with those bandits. Or are you deaf and stupid? Stupid? Here we were, thinking about letting you live. Now you've gone and changed our minds. Hey, hold on. Looks like she's got friends she does. Literally just walking up on the situation. Probably even just passing by. Ah. <sighs> Leave that woman alone. This don't concern you. We're soldiers from Fort Locke, hunting bandits. That we are. Caught this demon trying to raid our camp, and we were about to deal with her. By killing her? What did she take? Nothing yet, but a crew's been out in these parts. They've been raiding merchants, caravans, maybe even killed the old commander. I told you I'm not with those bandits. Shut your lying mouth, demon. You'll get the blade soon enough. Well, I certainly won't let you murder her in cold blood. You think you're going to stop us, are you? You know, Valis might pay for three bandit bounties. He's not one for asking questions. Especially about a demon, a runty dwarf, and a dirty harbourman who doesn't know enough to keep walking. Runty dwarf? I know you cowards aren't talking to me, or you'll be talking to my fist next. Good enough for me. Let's kill them all, and I'll sort out the tale later. This day is your last. Ah, uh, nothing like jackasses to just make the day all the better. Glory components. Take that! Little bit of blessing. Little bit of murdering goddamn soldiers that don't decide to do some smart stuff. Like, actually, I don't know, protecting the good guys. Near death, I certainly hope you are. Oh, you heal it? Oh, you're a paladin. Which is drawing things into question. Pop, pop, pop. Oh shit, she's near death. Good kick. Nope. Uh, just arm. Unless he's dead. I would like to disarm, please. Never mind. Where did you come from? I mean, one moment I thought I was dead, and then suddenly you're here. And look at all this blood. Sorry if I sounded surprised. It's just. You know, people don't usually help me out like that. Especially, um, well, people like you. <laughs> you know, nice looking people. Does that make me a damsel in distress? Oh, I hope not. I hate those women. I think she digs my stony exterior. You don't owe me anything. No one should be treated like that. Hey, you're nice. Sorry. I mean to sound so surprised well actually i am i mean it's just well unexpected i mean once folks catch sight of me usually it's the horns they run in the other direction and all those tales about tieflings being cursed don't help much either i'm nishka by the way i'm really glad you came when you did wasn't really sure how i'd get out of that one of course they never would have caught me in the first place if that invisibility potion i'd bought hadn't been watered down if i ever see that merchant again why were those men torching you like that? Well, I was actually trying to pass the fort by. Make my way farther south. Well, I thought that potion I bought would help. You see, once the local garrison sees me, they tend to want to throw me in a cell or attack me on sight. Of course, the potion wears off right as I cross paths with those thugs from Fort Locke. They were looking for easy bounties, and I showed up right on time. Uh, that's no reason for them want to want to kill you, or us. It's been that way ever since the new fort commander posted bounties on bandits. Some of his soldiers have been hunting down anyone they find on the road and claiming they're bandits. It's just banditry of a different sort. They rob the travelers and then get the bounty too. The roads are even less safe now than they were before. Well, we're on our way to Fort Locke. Do you... Uh... I could join you just for now. 
I won't get in the way, I promise. It's just that I don't know how long I can survive on my own. And, well, I do owe you one. Can't say I trust her. Tieflings will stab you in the back and run off with your purse the moment you drop your guard. Yeah? Well, dwarves are squat, smelly drunks who'll chop someone in half just to show they're tough. Oh, is that so? Well, why don't you step down here and say that again? That's enough, both of you. He started it! Okay, leave her here. She'll be food for the other beasts on the road soon enough. I won't leave her here alone. She's coming with us. Thanks. I won't let you down, I swear. I think those Fort Lock thugs have my gear locked away here. Hey, another character and a bunch of uh, loot. A kukri? Why? Sir, why do you have a kukri? Greenstone, some malachite. All right, so who did we just add to the party? Everybody, we have... Follow me! Nishka. Level 4 rogue tiefling. Yeah, this was this was during that time in D&D &D where, you know, being demon-blooded was not the norm and still very untrustworthy. Uh, tieflings also, I believe, get a effective class level increase of one because, you know, they got a bunch of fun stuff like infernal resistance, which allows them to resist, well, a bunch of elemental stuff, dark vision, Yep, there's that resisting stuff. And because she is a thief, I don't need to worry about no, uh... No leveling up Iggy with a little bit of that good old-fashioned annoying need of stuff. Hey, let's prove your worth right here now. Most excellent. So this was your gear? Oh wow, they literally removed her armor and weapons, so she couldn't even put up a fight. Boy, I can't wait to burn this fortress to the ground. But I think, um, I'm gonna do something really quick. And of course, by doing something really quick, I mean, I'm gonna loot all the treasure tramps. Ooh. I was trapped. Look at that. Easy money. She even got some uh, better thieves tools. I think the thieves tools aren't used uh, when it is a successful picking. Don't quote me on that because some games, I think some games have been known to do that stupidity. Gotta hit when they do that. Anyways, more more stuff to loot. Unlocking for more holy water. But hey, more money is the important part. Just a little bit more picking up the locks for Greenstone and Healer's Kit. Maybe not that big of a deal, but still. And just these last little bits that I already <clears throat> disarmed. That give me ah refinement of alchemist craft, probably more uh, stuff for me to learn for alchemy, so that I can you know use them. And I unidentified boots, boots of the winterland. I guess cold resistance five. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it it would have been useless to put even a point of opening locks. Uh, into Iggy, seen as... Look, look at that! DC 31. Now, when it comes to open locks and uh, disabling traps in this game, it is... They do what's essentially called the Take 20 rule. It takes a long time to undo the traps, but you always roll as though you have... You have always rolled a 20. So, to that end, it's pretty neat. But at the same time, when the DC of all the all of these checks would be over 30, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, if ever you have a rogue in the party, just go, you know what? I take 20 on this. 
Remember as a DM that that is fine. It is acceptable. Sometimes you might want to have them actually roll, but it is not considered a natural 20 as though you had rolled it. Keep that in mind. It ain't the same. For one, it just feels better to actually roll that 20. But I think that is about it for this episode. When we, uh, so I'm going to go ahead save once I 100% made sure that yep, I got that one. Oh wait, did I get the one that was over there? I probably did. Yes, I did. Well, I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> save here, call an episode. When we return, we got some companions. Which means that life might just become a little bit easier for good old Iggy. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm going to cry just a little bit. Nishka is pretty cool. Nishka's, Nishka, Nishka's a neat character. But about here is where I've officially lost all the plot. I have no clue what's going to happen any further than this. I remembered Kelgar. I remembered Nishka. That's about it. Uh, don't even really remember what the hell happens within the goddamn uh, thingamabob. Yes, within the fort place of things. I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. When we return, we go to the fort and probably get yelled at a lot by a lot of dudes. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.